welcome to everything fly fishing. In this video, we're going to show you a killer, easy crayfish pattern. So, let's get to that right now. EFF Fly Fishing. Let the action begin. Welcome back to everything fly fishing. If you are new here, Make sure you click the bell notification so you never miss any of our videos and you get all notifications when we post a new video. Make sure you do that. Make sure you don't miss any of our videos. We do tying and structure videos, all which help you catch more fish next time on, your wa on the water. We have now produced over 251 videos, so make sure you go check them out. And they'll be, make sure you stay to the end of the check to Check out all the other videos and more information on this fly. Now, let's get to the vise. We're gonna start this fly by tying on a size six streamer hook, and that's the fly we're, the hook we're gonna use for this particular fly. Now we're gonna get some .025 lead, and we are gonna add as much weight as we can. We need a gap at the, up by the eye of the hook, and down by the bend of the hook to tie the materials on, but we're gonna add as much lead. We want this baby to sink when it hits the water. It is a crayfish, and if you ever kicked up a crayfish, they kind of swim to the top and they sink real fast to the bottom. That's what we want to do. Now helicopter your baits to tag in. Just kind of go like that, and it'll break right off. For this fly, we're going to use an orangish red thread and a real big, thick thread because it's going to be a big fly. So we we'll use this red thread. Now we're going to tie it in behind the wire, and we're not going to cut cut off our waist. We're going to run that back up to the eye of the hook or to the end of our lead, and that'll help us fill in the gaps between the lead. You want to hit it up with some head cement, and let it dry. Make sure it's dry. Now, both for the antenna and the legs of this fly, we're going to use these silly legs. They're orange, orange black flake. And uh, we're going to use these for the antenna. And make the antenna about the length of the shake of the hook. What you want to do is lay each want each leg on each side of the shank of the hook put a couple of loose wraps on there when you pull it tight they should split if they don't split and stay apart like antenna put a thread wrap in between them to hold them apart you don't want to clip, up, clip off your waist you want to run that up to the end of your lead this will help start building body a bigger body you want a bulker body Now, you're going to take a little ball of dubbing. For the dubbing, I took orange ice dubbing and a dark brown ice dubbing and mixed them together to get this dubbing I'm using on the whole fly. So you want to put a, take a little ball of dubbing and put it in front. That'll help hold your claws apart and it also represent like uh, little feelers and stuff coming out in the front of the fly. Now, for the claws, we have this um, it's dyed rabbit, orange and black, dyed rabbit, and it's it's scalping using tie uh, scalping, but uh, we got this, and we're gonna take and measure claws the same length, 
and uh, measure that and then you can pull the hair back and cut the actual leather for the hard part of this strip and then tie that. that's what you're going to tie in is a claw. Now you can tie this in by tying in about a quarter inch of that leather and letting the rest of the claw or the rest of the hair stick out and that'll represent your claw. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. You want to peel the hair back, cut it off, make sure it's the same length as the other one and uh, cut it off and tie it in. As you can see here, you have a really bulky section behind the claws, which is all right, because that's going to be the head of your crayfish. Now you're going to tie in three sets of legs. What you want to do is lay them on top, figure eight them so they're coming out straight on both sides. Leave a little gap, tie the next set of legs in, figure eight them so they're coming straight out the sides. And then right behind that really bulky section, right behind it, you'll tie in the third. And you do the same thing, figure eight it so it's sticking straight out the side. And then you got your legs tied in. Now, on top of that, you're going to tie in a one-inch strip of turkey tail. I should have probably tied this in before the legs, but it's only the third time I tied this, or the third time I tied this fly. Sorry about that. Third time I tied the fly, and I forgot. So you tie in that turkey if you missed, forgot before. Tie it in now, and then uh, just tie it in down in between the legs, and uh, tie it down really good, and grab your dubby. Now you want to use, go back to that same dubbing we used earlier in the fly and you want to wrap it in between. You want to build up quite a bulk here for the head and you wrap the dubbing real loosely and build up quite a bulk and of the dubbing in between the legs. That'll help hold, hold your legs straight out if you haven't, if they're not perfect yet. And then go back to right to the end of the last legs and stop your dubbing and then you want to wrap, take that turkey and wrap it up over top of the dubbing and then cinch it and then tie it down right behind the, la the last legs and that'll make your head of your crayfish. Now you want to tie in a piece of gold wire for a rib. Now we're going to use a feather from the breast right here of a ring neck. Um, they make great, they look just like a, a, a tail of a crayfish. And we're going to tie that right directly on top of the hook, pull it back, put some thread wraps in front of it, right behind the eye of the hook, and that'll make your tail kind of stick up like this and you'll be able to tie the fly on.
Now you want to go back up right behind that turkey that you tied in and start dubbing this again. You won't need much dubbing because you didn't cut anything off. It kept building up that body. I'll make a solider, a more solid uh, tail of this fly. And you want to run the dubbing right back to that, to the tail of that, this fly, that breast feather you tied in. You're going to wrap the turkey feather, rest of that turkey back to that, tie that in, and then run your ribbing back to right behind the tail. Tie that off and helicopter it, break it off, and then add three whip finishes. All right, now I like to go back and put head cement or fingernail, clear fingernail polish on um, the head, anywhere there was turkey. Cover all that turkey up and where you whip finished. Cover all them whip finished thread, the thread there, excuse me, up with head cement. And before it, I, it dries, I like to pull up on the tail a little bit to get it away from the eye of the hook and it'll bend up a little bit. Okay, that's it. You got it finished. And usually I like to say let's zoom in for a closer look, but to see this fly, this crayfish pattern, the way it looks, you're going to have to back it up actually. So let's take a better look at this awesome fly you just tied. Hope you liked that video. That was a crayfish pattern. I only tied that three times. I came up with it. I took a whole bunch of other ideas out of books I found, articles I had. I mean, I've had. I still have articles since when I was 14. Got it piled it all together and came up with that crayfish pattern. I've never tied a crayfish before, but they're really useful in bass fishing. I know. I just never. I know as much bass fishing, but. I like to get into more bass fishing and I could bring you more bass fishing on this channel because I really liked bass fishing when I was a bait fisherman many many moons ago and there for a while I spent a lot of time bait fish using a bait fish rod for bass and only catch a trout on a fly rod so then I kind of gave it up when I just strictly went fly rod don't even have a bait rod anymore. But anyway, that's kind of a boring story. You don't want to hear about that. And we have just reached 251 videos. So if you don't haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and go back and check out all our other videos. We've got great tying videos. we got instructional videos, product reviews, which we got a product review coming up next. Because if I don't, I'm going to get in trouble. So, and I think we're gonna, he's going to sponsor us for a whole month of videos. So, let's get, we'll get to that product review soon. 
and make sure you get these tied up and go out and do some bass fishing. It's real fun. Uh, Tracy never did it yet. I'm scared if she does that. She won't want to fish trout anymore. The fight you get from a 14 inch uh, smallmouth will trout a hard, a, you'd have a hard time beating that fight. I mean, the aerials and the jumping out of the water, it's just a lot of fun. So tie some up and go bass fishing. And tell me how they made out, this pattern made out for you. And you can see all our other playlist right up in here. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, do it now. And you can click that right there or right there. The little face, my face. Subscribe. Keep your lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip.